Morning everybody, it's Chad from Stick's Blog, I'm Stick. Uh, I just woke up uh, this morning, um, I'm out here in my Hexamed and the uh, Hexanet, I just got my Hexanet in uh, yesterday. Um, most of you may have seen the uh, video and write up I did uh, on the Hexanet a couple of weeks ago, that was actually a prototype. Um, Joe sent that to me, I checked it out, um, thought about some things on it, set it up, see what I thought about it, uh, and then I sent it back to him, and there were a couple of things that I asked him to do, um, different, um, so anyway, I got the other one back in, um, yesterday, like I said, uh, I had a trip planned this weekend, and, uh, things kind of happened and I didn't get to go on that trip um, so I decided you know I'll just go ahead and set the tent up in the yard and uh, at least uh, give it a go also I had my backpack already packed up because like I said we were supposed to head out on that trip um, so I decided to just bring my backpack in here uh, and unload everything in here the same way I would uh, as if I was actually out on the trail so just kind of show you around the inside Um, this is the foot end. Uh, so what I do is I just put my backpack and I just kind of shoved it down in the bottom there. And then next I have, this is my Gossamer Gear 1 8 inch thin light pad. Uh, and I'm using that because I'm also using the uh, short ProLite 3 pad. Uh, and then I just have my Enlightened Equipment. Um, uh, this is the custom prodigy quilt he made for me um, but anyway can I show you the side over here maybe a little dark um, this is one of the things that I asked Joe to do for me uh, was to put a tie out on this uh, back pull out here uh, all four corners stake down none of the corners actually got uh, pull out to the corners of the hexamid like the original version did um, but I did you know, I expressed interest in having one tie out for back here because uh, this one I found with the prototype, it really helps make a little bit of a difference by pulling this back wall up a little bit instead of being slanted in. Uh, also, uh, by putting a little stress on that, it does kind of help keep this back wall um, a little bit more tension, uh, which means less sag. Um, I know it's hard to see and you probably can't see, but there's... I mean, there really is no sag. All this this mesh here is pulled quite tight. Um, so, go ahead and turn around here. I'll show you the head end. Now, the head end is where um, I'm gonna put most of my stuff. A uh, couple reasons. Um, now I will say everything that's in here, there's just a little bit more than I would typically have on a backpacking trip. I have two pillows because uh, I actually thought that uh, when I was going out on the trip, I didn't think this hexanet would be here. So I had um, this down pillow here, which is actually for a hammock. I was going to use a hammock on this trip. Um, but since uh, it showed up and I came out here last night, I grabbed my normal. Uh, this is my Goose Feet Gear pillow case with the exped pillow inside it um, but anyway I have uh, of course the clothes that I would have uh, wore the day before is up here uh, which this is just my you know home clothes it's nothing special uh, my rain jacket now I've got like my little ditty bag uh, I've got my toilet paper my stuff sacks for the hexanet the hexamid and all that stuff um, I've got my umbrella up there and I've got some, uh, those are the poles, it's kind of hard to see. But there's a stuff sack up there with some uh, poles in it for a uh, um, tripod, camera tripod that I'm using. And I've got my OR hat, I've got my light trail cook kit, uh, bug net, uh, my pack cover, my Sawyer squeeze water filter, um, my uh, cloud kilt. Um, and then my snot rags because I'm trying to get over a cold. Um, 
But anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, one of the other things that uh, I was talking to Joe about was this area right here gets a lot of tension. Uh, and that was something I was concerned about. On the first one, the zipper came up, or the zipper came down the center and then took off towards the outside. On the new version, the zipper runs from the center around that way and comes up to the top. And that's kind of helped. I think that has helped a little bit um, because there was a lot of tension right here. Um, and the only thing I'm worried about is stress being put on this area considering this is uh, this is all mesh. Because um, the thing about it is, is there's no elastic whatsoever on this vertical line. Um, up here at the top, it's hard to see from out here, but the cup is actually now sewn. Uh, the cup is actually now sewn to this little uh, this little reinforced area at the very tip. Uh, now I'll also show you what I've done. Uh, if I can do this one handy. Okay. So here's the pole cup. Uh, the way it was before is this piece of nylon cord. There was a piece also on the end of the pole cup, and those pieces were just kind of uh, looped together. Uh, but now you can see the pole cup is actually sewn right to the top of this uh, reinforced area at the top. Uh, however, what I've done is I've just taken, and I don't know if that's focusing or if you can see that, um, but I've taken a mitten hook and actually tied it directly to the loop that's located in the top of the hexamid. And now with that mitten hook, I, I did use a piece of shock cord on it. Uh, so it has a little bit of play because like I said I like that a uh, little bit of play to help you know absorb some of the shock uh, but now once I get it in here also you can see this here what I was talking about he's got a loop there and I loop that I stake uh, or I pull that one out um, but now what, what I do is I set up my hexamed uh, after I set up my hexamed I throw the uh, uh, the hex net in here I stake out the four corners go ahead and attach that and then if I'm not use, if I'm using it under the hexamid, I'll grab the little loop that's on the top, and I'm probably not gonna be able to do this real well. Hang on. And then I just hook that loop to the mitten hook, and you can see that gives me a pretty tight pitch. Uh, plenty of room inside there for me to move around and everything. Uh, so I'm I'm really really excited about this. This thing is listed at having seven inch vertical. Uh, bathtub or not seven inch vertical but a seven inch bathtub floor and I haven't actually measured um, but I will say I want to point out here uh, this is not actually seven vertical inches um, the way you'll see it here here's actually the edge of the tarp and I don't know how many inches it is between the actual edge of the tarp and the mesh but if you'll see this thing is actually slanted it's at a slant and that just follows the, the natural line going up to the, the top there. Uh, and what's different about this is used to, it was more of a vertical floor. And they had tie-outs here. And then those tie-outs would just uh, attach to these loops that are found at each corner. Um, but what he's done is he's put stakes down. Or he's, he's put uh, tie-outs on the four corners. And now you just simply uh, stake those out. And what that does is that helps get a tighter pitch. Uh, so the mesh is not sagging quite as bad as it uh, did on the first original version um, I think that's working out very well I will say it uh, like you like you can see here it's got a lot of space here that's actually not being used kinda uh, you can see how much room is there uh, but what I found last night I actually slept in this thing uh, I was supposed to go on a hike this weekend but things didn't work out so I just grabbed my backpack carried it all out here I did some video earlier and I may uh, kind of add that in but uh, what I do is I'll just put all my gear and stuff that I'm not using I'll just shove it up underneath there so this space is not actually unused space um, it's it's actually being used and also what I found is by shoving my gear and stuff up under there it'll actually kind of help push this up just a little bit more so it will actually give me a little bit better protection by doing that uh, like I said you can see there's plenty of room between the edge of the tarp and where the mesh actually starts and I actually like that I think it's gonna work out really well um, you can see it's got a nice tall bathtub floor here against the front um, of course obviously in the back uh, the sides are not quite as tall but like I said when I push my stuff up uh, underneath it it actually helps push it up and uh, 
I really like it. One thing I did ask him uh, was I was hoping to get a one-piece bathtub floor. Uh, however, I guess that maybe since uh, the way it's cut, I'm not really sure, but it looks like he had to stick with uh, sewing the two pieces together. However, these are taped, so it should still provide a, uh, a waterproof uh, floor. Uh, as well, the sides, he's also had to, uh, he couldn't really fold those well, so he still had to sew the sides. And everything is also taped on this all the way down to the tie-out. I know it's hard to see. Uh, but everything down to the tie-out is taped on the inside as well. One thing I did, uh, you can see here, uh, maybe you can, let me try a different one. <sighs> one thing I did is I added a piece of uh, elastic, just uh, some shock cord here. And the reason I did that is so that the tent or the hexen net floor would have a little bit of side to side play instead of if I stake it out just to the uh, the cord or this flat nylon loop, uh, there's absolutely no play in it whatsoever. And I like to have a little bit of play in it just so it doesn't, you know, so it can help absorb some of the shock or tension that might be put on it. Uh, so I feel like those help a lot. And also, I know it's hard to see, but I'm using the uh, Terra Nova uh, one gram titanium stakes uh, and they seem to do a pretty good job at uh, holding the floor down um, my particular hexanet here um, it came in at nine ounces exactly with the stuff sack uh, from z packs um, however I've added like I said the two pieces of shock cord at each end and I've added that piece of shock cord with a mitten hook on the back so that brought the total weight up to 19 or 9.1 ounces um, all together with the hexamid, uh, all the guy lines that are on the hexamid, um, the stuff sack for the hexamid, uh, the hexanet, the stuff sack for the hexanet, um, and then the one guy line that comes on the hexanet, um, and then 14 stakes, which is uh, two of these uh, MSR carbon core stakes. I have those. I use one for the front and one for the back. Uh, I have eight of the uh, Lawson Klein, the titanium shepherd hook stakes, if you can see that there. I have eight of those, two of those makes ten, and then I have the four uh, one gram Terra Nova titanium stakes. Uh, for all of that, when I put it on my weight or my scale, it comes to 18.5 ounces. So that's completely not bad in my opinion. Uh, it's a modular shelter. Um, it's roomy enough for me to move around to do whatever I need to do in it. Um, I gotta say, I'm super really excited about this. Um, I think it may rain tonight. If so, I'm probably gonna leave this set up throughout the day and uh, use it again tonight uh, just to see for myself how it does in the rain. Um, other than that, I'm really excited about it. So, uh, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. If you have any comments or questions feel free to just post those at the bottom and i'll do my best to get back to you with those and if you're interested in these uh, like i said just check out zpacks.com uh, just so you know i'm not affiliated with them i just have i've bought a considerable amount of gear from uh zpacks uh you know i'm really I've, i'm always happy with the customer service i'm always happy with the gear that i receive um, i'm actually waiting on one order right now and i've got a couple more orders i need to place um, I, I just, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with, uh, with their products and with their customer service, and I, I just couldn't, uh, you know, recommend them enough. Uh, but anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. See you later.